Hey everyone, Chris here. We're going to take a quick look at the brand new Tandera from East to West. This is a 320 RL. Enjoy. Okay, so on the exterior of the Tandera, you have a lot of really nice features. You will have two awnings standard on the 320 RL. You also have auto level on this fifth wheel. Up front, you get the fiberglass cap with some real nice vertical lights. Nice storage underneath. There is a propane tank on each side. Nice things on the pass through. Um, nice big compartment. Goes all the way through. You can see all the aluminum framing, the plywood floor. A um, Couple nice things they do on the Tandera, um, similar to a Montana, you get the rubberized floor. So. Um, you know, when this area is linoleum, oftentimes you'll end up with scratches and dents. So this is a very resilient material. We also have upgraded baggage doors. So they have steel latches, not plastic. So those are going to open and close better and they're going to last longer. We'll have outside speakers that will work off the Bluetooth stereo. The nice flip up steps. Um, this would have an Asdell uh, composite behind the fiberglass and the sidewall. So that'll uh, reduce any chance of getting moisture behind there and getting delamination. You can see fully laminated around the slide out box. Um, another nice thing they did, uh, they actually added some outlets in the slide room, which is pretty unusual. So if you have any appliances you want to set out here, you have a great spot. It's going to be 16 inch wheels and tires. We will have the upgraded uh, more ride suspension system. So three inches of travel on each side and rubberized suspension. So that's just going to really make this tow a lot better. There you can see is your leveling system. This is of course going to be a heated and enclosed underbelly with heat strips on the tanks. There is a quick connect back here as well if you want to hook up a grill. Roof ladder is standard as is backup camera prep which is up there. All right, so this is interesting. Um, this is one of the Tanderas that was built with an actual tow hitch. So this is a 3,000 pound rated hitch. It has a four pin wire. Uh, it's rated for 300 pounds of tongue weight. They actually um, moved away from this on future models. So it'll just be an accessory hitch going forward. But this particular one, you can actually you know tow some decent weight. Okay. And just nice clean look. They do a nice job with lights. So there's a big nice light down here by where you terminate the waste. So if you're doing that at night, um, that's well lit. And they even add some slot, uh, light underneath the slide out, which is a spot you can really cause yourself an injury. <laughs> As I have certainly done where you bump your head into the bottom of the slide out. Um, you have upgraded appliances, so this is a 35,000 BTU furnace, and this is going to be a 10-gallon water heater. So, you know, most fifth wheels in this market, they're going to be a 30,000 BTU furnace, 6-gallon water heater. So, upgraded in both those aspects. Fully enclosed water system. So, you can run all your cords up from underneath. You can see the motion light just kicked on. So, your battery disconnect, a couple of outlets. Um, you can just go by the chart on which way you need to flip your valves for winterization or for normal use. Uh, black tank flush on here. You will have a, a shower with hot and cold water. And again, you can just see how clean this pass through storage is. Um, all right. And then, you know, where most manufacturers would use little wing nuts on these propane doors, these actually, again, have solid metal handles. So open and close really nice. There is leveling control over here. And it's nice, they actually put it in a separate compartment. You know, most, most manufacturers, they're in here or attached to this door. The trouble with that is you go close up all your stuff, you lock these doors, you go to leave, you gotta reopen it, do all that. Um, this is nice, you can just add, you can do it from here and you can also just uh, more easily see the truck that you're hitching up to. So the leveling system is a BAL, so that will do um, auto level, but it also has a hitch memory function, um, which is a very nice thing because it will remember the last point you hitched up and just make hitching up much easier. All right, let's check out the inside of this Tandera. 
Okay, really beautiful, well done uh, interior on this 320 RL. So this is a, you know, kind of a classic fifth wheel floor plan. Lots of manufacturers build this. So I'll try to go through and just point out some things that Tandero does differently. So a big thing um, with the way they arrange this, you get four big windows on your campground side. So you have a good view of your campsite, you know, not, not on the back side where you just see your neighbors. Um, all the windows open. You'll notice they're big windows, and that's because the slide room is actually bigger. It's a six foot four um, slide out room. You know, most most fifth wheels are going to be six foot slide rooms, so that allows for bigger windows, less likely to hit your head, and just kind of opens the fifth wheel up more. So table and chairs, um, and then they do the PVC woven flooring, which is another feature uh, that Tendera took kind of from Keystone, Montana was the first one to really do that. Um, nice thing with Tandera, most of their, you know, their designers and people associated with the product actually came over from Keystone RV. So they took a lot of those features you'd find on real high-end fifth wheels and put them in a fifth wheel that's more aggressively priced. So you have manual recliners there with cup holders and a little uh, remote storage. The shades are gonna be pull down blackout shades. Still have nice tint to the windows. Okay, so there's your full width couch. You have nightstands on each side, you know, outlets, USBs. Um, the nice thing on this couch is that it just it very easily converts into a bed. It's a one person job. You don't have to flip any legs down or anything like that. It's, it's, it's really easy. It's also very easy to put back um, into couch mode. But you get all the nice windows back here. I like that they do angled cabinets. Everybody's gone away from that because it's a little harder to construct, but it looks better and then it's deeper on the sides for the storage. Entertainment center, amazing. So 50 inch TV, huge fireplace. So they kind of maxed out both of those appliances. And then this middle section, you ask uh, why do they have the glass doors? Well, that's so you can still use a remote. Um, for your radio or if you're using uh, you know a satellite receiver or something like that you don't have to open a cabinet door you can just point and uh, get infrared um, there are speakers on each side that look good this overhead cabinet they have one of these here and then one above the pantry uh, works very well because this opens up there's no rails uh, blocking um, access to your storage so if you have bedding or pillows, things like that, they'll fit easily in there. Liquor cabinet, you know, <laughs> whatever you want to do. Um, so the kitchen, they do a great job of centering it. So you can see the microwave and the oven are um, perfectly centered between the cabinets and the countertop space. Your island kitchen is going to have outlets on each side. It's very sturdy. So if you go into a Tandera, I think you'll feel that the Kitchen Island is a lot more sturdy than most brands. And that's generally kind of a rule of thumb I always use when judging the quality because it kind of speaks to the integrity of the floor and how they frame it and everything. But you get a nice window in the kitchen, big 30 inch microwave. It's not a convection, um, but it is a residential size. And these are solid surface countertops, so you can use hot uh, pans without having to risk burning anything. All right, big pot and pan drawer underneath the oven. That's a Magic Chef, so that's a bigger oven. It does have the light-up knobs. On the front side of this island, you can see just tons and tons of storage. They give you the nice little strainer and a high-rise faucet. The pantry is kind of the wow factor on this floor plan. Uh, super practical, you know, you will have no problem with dry food. I mean, you, you have storage for days and weeks. Um, so it, it's just very impressive and very practical. All right, so that is a residential refrigerator. It's 15 cubic foot. Uh, they do offer a gas electric model as well. If you did a little more dry camping. So that will run off your batteries. Um, through a thousand watt inverter while you're traveling and then once you're on shore power you're going to run at very low amps okay main control panel uh, kind of everything you'd expect slide outs awnings up above here you are pre-wired for solar so you can put a mount on the roof put a solar controller on here and have solar all right air conditioning control uh, your 
rooftop fan control. All right, so in this on the stairs, um, you can see no carpet. There's actually zero carpet in this fifth wheel. The converter, which is to the left, everybody always asks what that box is. When you pop it open, there's breakers and fuses. Um, but something special Tandera is using this year is this is a lithium ready converter. So you just flip a switch and then if you switch out your batteries to lithium, they will work with this converter. All right, motion sensing, sensing light in the hallway just turned on. Okay, so the bathroom has a porcelain foot flush toilet, a nice linen storage. There is heat and air ducts in the bathroom. And then the shower is going to be a 48 by 30 fiberglass shower. So it's really the best way to do a shower, get great room. Um, you know, there's nothing glued together. It's not a two piece setup. They also have a ledge in here. So if you prefer sitting down while you shower, uh, that's something you can do. And then instead of doing the squeegee door, which everybody seems to hate, <laughs> at least everybody I talk to, this actually has a real glass door with a nice latch to it. Okay. Um, all the Tanderas are going to have a Jack and Jill bathroom. So you have the side hallway. Um, otherwise, you can walk you know, directly from the bedroom into the bathroom. King bed is optional, but everyone Collier RV orders will have a king bed. And that will lift up for very nice storage. Okay. So um, other nice things in the bathroom, in the bedroom, um, full linoleum. You know, I know a lot of manufacturers use carpet up here, but this is going to be the same uh, flooring as the rest of the coach. So it'll be very easy to keep clean. Two big drawers there. Nice, nice ledge space, big sliding window. And then you will have a backer in the wall if you want to add a TV. All right, you get these attractive glass doors. And then it'll be, um, it is washer dryer prepped. It would be a split unit. So you would do the uh, washer on the uh, driver side and then do the dryer on the passenger side of the closet. Okay, one thing I like to point out on Tanderas, they really uh, seem to go the extra mile with fit and finish and with kind of the, the hidden things most people aren't really looking at, but that matter a lot in fifth wheels. So they do a good job. Um, it's a two by three actually framed out interior wall. So you're nice and solid, you know, on these headers and these kind of transition sections. Um, that's usually an area with very little framing. So they do a really nice job there. Um, and I think it speaks to the quality of the product. So everyone, this is a 320RL East to West Tandera. This is for sale at Callier RV in Rockford, Illinois. If you have any questions at all, I'm Chris and my number is on the screen. Thank you so much.